keyword density. Let's talk about that. It's 2018 and many think that keyword density doesn't matter anymore. Well, I do not necessarily agree with that. So first of all, what is keyword density? Let's ask Google. So keyword density, here I have it. And we get a straight answer here from Wikipedia. Keyword density is the percentage of times a keyword phrase appears on a web page compared to the total number of words on the page. So it's a, it's a percentage. Now the second sentence of this definition is quite interesting. In the context of search engine optimization, keyword density can be used to determine whether a web page is relevant to a specific keyword or keyword phrase. Now we know that Google has advanced a lot since their early days and now we have uh, algorithms that can um, understand the semantic uh, value of, a, of, a, of, a, of an article. For this very reason, because Google can understand concepts, it doesn't just look at the keywords anymore, many think that keyword density is not relevant. Everybody seems to have an opinion, but the truth is, they have been lying to you. I want to show you a little example here. Let's take the article that ranks first. So let's open this in a new tab. And then let's take another one that I like here, Yoast, you see. so. We open the two articles and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go in the article I'm gonna go to the bottom of the article and select all of it why am I doing that because I want to go into a tool to check what is the keyword density so ctrl C I go in wordcounter.net and you have the URL right here and then all I have to do is to paste the article inside this uh, input box text area. So now this tool tells you immediately that the article is 7314 words long. So this is a long article and that's probably why it ranks uh, number one. I'm not going to go into the detail of what the article says, but I show you immediately that uh, if I go here, they have a keyword density tool inside this uh, keyword density panel inside this tool. And you can see that this article is talking about page, keyword, KD, which is key, key, keyword density and density. So it is pretty obvious looking at just the count I'm not talking about percentage, but just the count of words to understand what the page is talking about. Now, it, it becomes even more interesting if we go to look at the couple of words. So here you have two X and you see that the article has 42 times the uh, keyword density key phrase. Okay, this is a couple of words. And search engines appear 18 times, keyword stuffing 15 times, and so on. So you see that the topic of this article comes out from just counting words, right? And Google is a machine and it can understand meaning, yes, but it's still relying on numbers. Now I want to show you another example from uh, this article here. So this is Yoast and it was, I think, ranking number five. And it's talking about keyword density in a post-panda world. This is a very interesting title. So here it goes to say that they have been revising their approach and uh, now they suggest to have uh, a keyword density below 2.5%. Uh, while before this number was uh, much higher. So this is their opinion about the keyword density. Now we are going to do the same here. So Ctrl C, we come back in wordcounter.net, Ctrl A, select everything, we delete the previous one and we copy this one, Ctrl V. So this article is 624 words long. And remember they said to use a keyword density between 0.5% and 2.5%, but let's see what actually they're doing. Yoast SEO is 
5% and they it comes 11 times in this short test and keyword density is it, it's 3% so it's well above this 2.5% if I go in, in this you see that keyword the word keyword appears 5% so the guys at Yoast they're saying one thing and they're doing another one mind-blowing right they say one thing they do another here is what you should do with this tool here wordcounter.net you can check the quality of your article in terms of keyword relevancy I wouldn't call it keyword density because we are not really focusing on this percentage what we want in the end of the story is that uh, the keywords you decide to target should stand out from the bunch of, of other words right so in in this case i would say that this article does well for yoast seo premium and keyword density check of course whether you are ranking first or even in the first page it's not uh, all up to the keywords there are many other things that go into the the full picture here but if you don't have the keywords you have no chance of ranking so you must get this right it's like a recipe if you're baking a cake you need to have the ingredients so when you're writing an article your ingredients are the keywords it doesn't matter what people say that keyword density is no longer relevant yes it is not in terms of percentage but you must have the keywords in order to rank so finally my recommendation is the following you draft your piece of content the way you would normally write you make sure it sounds nice it, it has to have meaning and it has to have a, a, a logical execution after that you copy paste the, the text into wordcounter.net and you check the keyword density over here then you see if your keyword couple of keywords or three keyword phrase doesn't stand out from the other keywords you have to add more occurrences so you check the text and you see where you can add again this keyword instead of maybe you're using a synonym don't do that put the straight keyword in there and you increase the count of keywords until you have it right so this is my take about keyword density keyword count and keyword relevance in a piece of content i'm sure that this will be super useful for you when you start to write your own content or if you want to check a content that you already have make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because i'm going to share a lot of these practical tips that can help you to rank on page one or even position number one so smash the like button for me and i will see you at the next ciao